Welcome, my friend. A new day has dawned for this chapter, and moving forward we will no longer cower in the dark. And we have you to thank for it. You'll find that I can be generous to those who show loyalty. Here, take this key. If you ever find yourself in need of repair, head to our safe house to the northeast. Now, what can I do for you? Yes, I thought you might, given how much time you've spent here. That's not usually a request we agree to. Typically, we take in the young so that they might be trained through adolescence. In special cases, we allow exceptional individuals to conditionally join. Luckily for you, you happen to be exceptional. The condition is that you must complete a task. This task must prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that you have what it takes to join the Brotherhood. I happen to have something perfectly suitable in mind. Though I warn you, it won't be easy. Still interested? Back when we were stationed at Helios, our scouts reported that a group was establishing itself in the area as a distributor of pre-war weapons. Our elder at the time, Elijah, was too concerned with getting Helios running and fending off the NCR, so he ordered us to leave them alone. It's time that we correct that oversight and show this region that the Brotherhood is still a force to be reckoned with. I want you to visit these weapons dealers, this Van Graaff family. Make an example of them. Leave no one alive. When the job is done, Report back, and I'll arrange for a team to clean up the site and retrieve the weapons. Welcome back, my friend. What can I do for you? Hello again, my friend. I hope you've been finding the information in the data store useful. Ah, outsider. I've heard that you were instrumental in providing Harden with the evidence to bring against me. And here I had thought to use you. Have you come to gloat, or did you actually want something? It's a protective measure that was enacted after our defeat at Helios. The NCR was hot on our heels, and we wouldn't have survived another encounter. It was decided that we would stay quiet for a time, heal the wounded, and try to come up with a new strategy. However, after we had fully recuperated, our first scouting measures showed that the NCR's presence in this region had only increased in our absence. There are now more than five times the number of NCR troops in the area as when we fought them. And we have half the number we did at Helios. And so the lockdown has been extended. To go outside would be the death of us all. We have some personnel that are allowed to travel on the surface. They trade for what we need and occasionally drop off what they acquire. We make sure that they only enter or leave the bunker while the sandstorm is active, to avoid detection. That is this base's defensive system. It serves as camouflage and masks all entry and exit from the bunker. We use it to hide our patrols and supply runners, though we still send such out at night to be extra safe. Bye. Morning. Hmm? Oh, you must be the outsider everyone's buzzing about. Pleased to meet you. I'm Lorenzo, senior knight and general handyman around here. Bye.
A few of us wanted to thank you for being such a good friend to the Brotherhood. So we've set aside some of our recycled energy cells. We'll leave a few of them in that footlocker in the corner every so often. The Paladins scoff at using recycled ammo so no one should mind. I heard the Elders got Taggart working on some kind of secret project. Welcome back, my friend. What can I do for you? Well done. This is a small step in the right direction, but it's damn good to move forward again. Now, I believe congratulations are in order. It is my honor to bestow upon you the title of Paladin of the Brotherhood, for your meritorious service in its name. Normally there'd be a ceremony and such, but everyone is too busy at the moment for such frivolity. I can give you this, however. Your very own suit of power armor. We can't spare our best, but I had the knights assemble this one for your use. Which reminds me, you don't even know how to use these, do you? Not even close. Power armor isn't something you wear so much as use. It's a weapon in its own right, and takes skill to wield. If you don't know what you're doing, you won't even be able to walk with it on. So how about a bit of quick instruction? Here, I'll show you. It's easy once you get used to it. First, we'll start with putting it on. There, I think you got the hang of it now. Should be able to use any type of power armor you come across using what you just learned. Very well then. In addition to the armor, I've given the order that all of our arms and equipment be made available for your purchase. Finally, while you are now a member of the Brotherhood, I cannot ask any more of you. I'm sure you have goals of your own outside these walls. You are free to come and go as you please, though I hope you'll return to us someday in a more permanent capacity. I wish you the best outside, brother. Welcome back, my friend. 